Notice that this barrier actually allows them to immediately kind of jump over here. And honestly, you probably wouldn't be able to hear that if you're attacking. So just be very aware that there might be some shenanigans going on on here. Even if you can hear them, just be aware that there's some stuff they can do, like flash with a breach through like this corner from over there or flash through here. You can actually shift walk across here before the enemy attackers can spot you. So this is going to be a corner that you're going to have to clear just because of how close this is. Uh, to this corner. So the only circumstance in which you don't need to clear this is if your whole team is like f full sprinting forward, you can actually catch them before they get into the corner. So they can be right here peeking, they can be anywhere here. along this, and they can actually be like walking here. up. They could be in this corner behind this thing, which is wall thingable by the way, um, and they can probably be even up to here. So like, you know, the amount of time it takes here. you to walk up here is the amount of time they can spend walking up from their barrier. So they can probably be like all the way down to like here-ish. Hey guys, quickly before the video starts, you can see I've been absolutely destroying my opponents in Immortal 1 with 20 to 30 plus kills and often match MVPing. I now feel super confident in my ability to help you guys improve from whatever rank you're in to a higher rank through coaching. If you want coaching from me, please reach out to my Discord. It's Ducky. It's also down in the description below. Add me. I'll message you back quickly and we can plan a, a coaching session. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the best spots to be pre-aiming or have good crosshair placement on the new map Abyss, since Abyss is coming out to competitive very, very soon. So guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with A, go to mid, and then go to B. So if you want to skip to any of those sections, please do so with the timestamps down in the description below. The first thing I want you, want you guys to look at here is see this barrier and this barrier. So this actually matters because just like if you think of bind on defense, you can actually shift walk across here before the enemy attackers can spot you. So this is going to be a corner that you're gonna have to clear just because of how close this is uh, to this corner. So the only circumstance in which you don't need to clear this is if your whole team is like f full sprinting forward, you can actually catch them before they get into the corner, um, I do believe, so be just be aware of that. So guys, I'm gonna do this from the attacking perspective on how you should clear. So you can either come up like from here or you can come up over here. Either way is fine. You can even jump, jump on top of the railing to be a little bit harder to hit because again, if you're the enemy defender, it's gonna be, you're probably gonna be aiming like this and not like this, right? Because that's gonna be a little less expected. You're not really gonna see a whole lot of people do this straight away. Um, so this is a strategy you might use. It does take a little bit of a balancing act. So anyways, first things first, you're going to clear just this corner. This is probably gonna be the most common corner you're gonna see people fighting, especially if there's like a flash. You're gonna see a lot of duelists like Reyna and Jet out here somewhere. You also do have to be aware of up here. This is something you probably haven't seen a lot of players play yet just because this map is very new. Um, and you also do have to be very aware of Neon since Neon's also buff now or other characters being able to jump around to here. So you can even do this as Jet, but you're probably not gonna see a lot of Jet players do this just because this is not quite as good, um, but you can do that. So just keep that in mind. Neon can s slide around there. So we're placing here. We're expecting a duelist to be out here whenever we're clearing. And you see I'm clearing this methodically. I'm not just running up and swinging fully. I'm kind of clearing slowly, slowly. Might even look up here because they could have jumped up already. So being cautious, this this would be a decent spot if you're like a jet or arena, then you could just get out. But slowly clearing, walking up. Don't try, try to make noise as you step. Fully clearing this corner. Now resetting back. And now I'm like, okay, we're like, okay, main's clear. Our team's up here. We have the spike. Um, so now again, we're just clearing silly. So clearing the right side, slowly clearing the left. They could be on this bridge. They could be here. They could technically be up here. So you do need to be cautious of this. Actually, in all my time is playing this map. I haven't seen anyone up here, but I can promise you, you will eventually see someone up here. So just kind of like slowly clearing out. I'll should be cautious of back here. You can see people back here shooting you. But after this, you clear here. Keep in mind that this uh, is wall spammable. There's also a corner behind here, here. so you can wall bang this if you want and i've also seen people try to wall bang here. all the way up into heaven from here which it does work so be cautious so now you know we're walking up if we're being quiet if we're not being quiet you can just run out make sure you clear up here clear here and then also make sure you're, you're cautious of heaven a good way to do this would be just kind of clear like this and then swing out toward heaven since if you do it on this side you're going to expose yourself to here and heaven unless this is smoked but if that's not smoked you can go come to this side clear make sure you're still seeing new angles here and here so be cautious of that and then slowly clearing heaven being cautious here. of this corner too you're probably not going to see a lot of people in this corner it's not very good this is completely wall bangable so you're probably not going to see a lot of people playing there if there are people playing there if you do notice someone playing there you can just spam this the other round or the next round you go away um also be a little cautious 
of this corner, they can kind of tuck here. You, you can, you'll eventually be able to see them, but you can't see them like right here, like straight away. So make sure you're just kind of like sort of clearing that there. And then now you can get the spike down, right? So if you want to keep pushing, you come up here, make sure you're clearing this. Again, um, I wouldn't push too hard, but again, be careful up here, here, and then be careful of this spot. Here. They can be on this little ledge. And then we're going to clear it quickly, quickly on the right. And then here, if you want to come spawn, and then you can do whatever you want. You can keep pushing, go this way, and clearing is going to be pretty straightforward. Same thing, just make sure you kind of at least have some understanding of the map. So, you know, just kind of like having an idea of where they, they can come from any of these spots, right? So keep that in mind, and use your ears, obviously. Um, I think a good spot could definitely be if you can jump right here. Oh, oops. Okay, well, definitely didn't want for that to happen, but... We got this. Um, anyways, you could go there and just chill there. I don't know why I died, actually. If, uh, for example, you kill everyone on eight quickly, then you can get to this spot. You can chill here and just kind of, like, hide on this ledge. And, obviously, if they jump onto yeah. this, you're going to hear them. And you can kill a bunch of people there. So, that's a really good spot. Don't mean to get, uh, too much information on that. But, moving on in mid now. And I just want you, to, again, to quickly notice where the barriers yeah. are at for defense and attack. So, there's two yeah. defensive barriers here. And there's here. two attacking barriers here. So notice if we want to fight mid, we can do so very quickly from right here. But if we want to go over here on attack, it's going to take a little additional time when the round starts to actually come all the way up here, come here, and then eventually we're going to be mid, right? So no notice mainly just where these two barriers are at, so you can kind of understand where the attackers or the defenders can be peeking from. If they're down here, here they can be up a little here. farther, just because see how this barrier is actually closer to, than this one? So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this, get these moved down. So let's go ahead and start from this side if we're attacking. First, again, remember that where the barriers were, so they can be right here peeking, they can be anywhere here. along this, and they can actually be like walking here. up. They could be in this corner behind this thing, which is wall thingable by the way, um, and they can probably be even up to here. So like, you know, the amount of time it takes here. you to walk up here is the amount of time they can spend walking up from their barrier. So they can probably be like all the way down to like here-ish, uh, whenever you're finally peeking this so just be aware like you might actually expect them to be over here or down here But they might actually be like really aggressive and just trying to get one as like a Reyna or a jet So keep that in mind and they can also be in this corner So we're, anyways clearing this checking here You might even start like this and like slowly kind of work your way up Checking here here and then here and then if you make it to this point and there's nobody here You just have to be cautious of this corner and you have to be cautious of someone of course swinging here here any point but also Make sure that they're not behind this pillar, because that's actually going to be a spot people can just sit and wait and kind of listen in mid. So we're going to kind of just walk up now. And also be aware that if this wall gets broken, um, there's going to be someone potentially swinging it. So you see I'm, how I'm kind of clearing this here, cost this corner. And then at this point, you're going to have to make a decision. You have to make some amount of noise, right? Unless you're starting from down there, you're going to have to break this to go toward A, or you're going to have to jump down here because there's no way to jump down here and not make noise. You have to make at least a little noise, and that's actually really loud when you land on that. It's the metal sound, so it makes a big sound. So that's going to be very uh, noticeable to the enemies. And there's really no good way to fight someone here. Like, if there's someone playing right here, and they're just waiting for you to make noise, they do have to be careful of this side, of course. But if they just are waiting for you to jump down here, it's, it's going to be dangerous for you to do so. So I'd recommend coming up here mainly... If you want to take a fight uh, like this, just kind of early in the round and then uh, leave. Or if you want to come up here and try to split here. to A, because that's really going to be the main part of this. That's how this map seems to be designed at this point. It's really not yeah. ideal to jump down here or here, but you absolutely can do that if you want. Like, for example, if your team gets an opening on B, you can just run, run and jump over there, because, you know, it's already pretty obvious where you guys are going. But let's go ahead and start from this side. So, again, remember where they could be here. Um, they could... They could be to the left of here, but if you want, you can just walk up. Just be aware if this is getting broken, you need to be cautious of that. But it's not in this scenario, obviously. And then we clear here. Remember, they can already be pushing up. As we're walking up here, they can absolutely be, like, they can already have been probably all the way up here, just because from the attacker side, we have to come all the way around to where, where we are here. So that gives them a lot of time to actually scale up, and there could be someone here opping. There's going to be a lot of people opping using Marshall, using... Outlaw in this area, this is like, basically you can think of it like a scent mid, so you have to be very cautious, and be cautious of some aggression here. That's not probably going to happen a lot, but just something you do technically have to be aware of. So we're clearing, be careful of this spot, be careful of this here. corner, and anywhere here. here. Still cautious of this, slowly clearing that they're not here, here. Uh, and then slowly clearing this corner. 
and again immediately putting my attention back to these areas and from this point you can actually slowly walk up Here. to toward B if you want to split B so this is actually going to be also be a strategy splitting A and splitting B are both completely valid and realistic on this map it's something that you definitely want to be watching out for so what that means is you're definitely going to have Here. some mid players at least one mid player on uh, on defense and if I I would say probably at least two honestly because like this yeah. is really strong and so is this you so you probably have one mid player yeah. playing from here and then you have one player holding yeah. down a from like heaven or vent or something uh, but as long as this is broken you don't really need to watch it too much but just something to keep in mind guys so anyways, let's go ahead and move on to B for the last area here on B site just noticing again where the barriers are so here's yeah. the attacker here's the defenders so notice that this barrier actually allows them to immediately kind of jump yeah. over here and honestly you probably wouldn't be able to hear that if you're attacking so just be very aware that there might be some shenanigans going on on yeah. here even if you can hear them just be aware that there's some stuff they can do like flash with a breach through like yeah. this corner from over there or flash through yeah. here and then they have their teammate jump and then you know it could be very very dangerous so keep that in mind they do have the advantage on peeking here they can run yeah. all the way up here peek they can jump yeah. across and peek uh, as you're running up so keep that in mind up. so I want to show you guys a couple things um, you don't really need to worry about this side unless you're rotating to be late um, you do if you're coming late or you know you might have to worry about up here and this is actually a nice little angle you can catch some people's heads in this is something I've noticed in deathmatch on this map but anyways go ahead and clearing this just kind of sitting here you can even hold this for a second if you think they might push and then here uh, you don't really need to place your crosshair here technically because um, you can get here before they can like cross here. to this corner but this is a corner you do want to be slightly aware of here. if you're coming late or if you've just kind of been holding this for like a bit but, but you probably will hear them jump here so uh, just be aware that they can jump and you need to be ready for that but if they do jump and you see them like they're gonna you're gonna be able to kill them unless you just whiff or something so now we're clearing here that again could be all over top site here I clear like this first and then kind of place my crosser here if I'm if I have like an idea of where I think they're probably going to be, I might keep my crosser more likely to be there. Um, I'm going to be doing this a little more quickly in an actual game, kind of like this. Always being aware that they can jump over here the whole time. And again, they can be up on this high ground. Heaven, this is going to be a very common spot. You see a lot of people. And then one of my favorite spots to play on defense so far is just kind of chill behind here. This reminds me of split a lot. I really like this. You just have to be aware of someone running over here. Um, but you can like hug here and and it's going to be much harder for them to see you and then you can kind of peek over here like this so be very cautious of that as you're walking up that they can be right here they can be here still cautious of heaven also cautious of up here this is what it looks like from their perspective so they can just kind of be like chilling right here waiting for you to come up so being cautious of that as you're coming up still being cautious over here there's going to be breach flashes all over the place on this map um slowly clearing out here like this and then if you want to come around to this side again being cautious of heaven cautious of this cautious of this and then you know you have, you have everything clear at this point so if you want to push spawn you can also jump up here pretty easily um, but if you want to push spawn this is not a horrible spot to play for like one kill um, but again if you want to push spawn you have to worry about eventually here 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 but mainly just this spot and this spot um, and yeah it's, it's pretty straightforward you don't really want to be pushing too much so I'm not going to show too much of the aggressive stuff unless you guys really want it uh, but hopefully this video is helpful, just kind of showing you guys where you should really be aiming whenever you're entering, how to entry, um, or at least what angles to look at when you're entering as a duelist, because, you know, it's kind of a big part of your job going in first. If you are playing duelist, that's what you're meant to be doing. So if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. If you have any recommendations for future videos, let me know, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.